Let's talk a, a little bit about the uh, cooperation between Lexington and Louisville on the uh, BEAM project and why that's so important. Yeah. Uh, when I arrived here in June, uh, one of the first meetings I had before I assumed this office was certainly with um, Mayor Fisher and Mayor Gray. And I think they're two great mayors. And I think this idea of developing our capacity and capability in advanced manufacturing is, is a strategic move uh, that we should undertake. Makes a lot of sense. As I travel across the state, you see also some movement and recognition that maybe the manufacturing that we shipped abroad is, um, could have a place back in the state and especially in our corridor here, uh, given the way some of the shipping costs and labor costs and all are starting to move across the globe. So I think this is a, a wise uh, undertaking. I've met with President Ramsey at the University of Louisville. We look forward to being a big part of this uh, activity. Anybody else have any uh, other questions? We do have a question right over here. Good morning. Good morning. I'm at Bluegrass Community and Technical College, and I wonder what your philosophy is in working with the community and technical colleges in Kentucky to advance higher education. There is some evidence that without a good transfer program that we can't meet our goals in the Commonwealth for increasing the number of bachelor's degree holders. And um, so I just wonder if you might comment on that. Sure. First of all, one of our priorities that came out of our retreat is to make sure we do a better job and make it as seamless as possible for students to transfer from our community colleges. Since we're talking about advanced manufacturing, the experience I had in my previous position, we were part of a national competition to build a vaccine manufacturing plant in Birmingham. The company that had been awarded this was Solve, which is out of Belgium, although they have a home office in Atlanta and one in Canada. So they started with 16 sites. They narrowed it down to one. Um, they narrowed it down to two. And, and because of the partnership of uh, the University of Alabama at Birmingham, um, Jefferson Community College, and then all the business partners that came together, uh, we were selected. Unfortunately, the federal government then decided to cut the funding for this vaccine manufacturing, but that experience uh, was terrific for me because it showed how we complement each other and how the jobs that were needed in this advanced manufacturing were really um, terrific for those people who had, who had their associate degrees and then for the state to come in and provide as Alabama had done before in, in the uh, automobile manufacturing, sort of customized training to complement that. So that, that's a, that was a wonderful model and good experience for me, reminded me, again, how important our partnerships are. 